everyone and welcome to the Lay Thrum channel. In our videos we cover filming tips, tricks and techniques, equipment and product reviews and many other things that will help you in the world of filmmaking and photography. Check out our videos and don't forget to subscribe. What's up everybody? Welcome to the Lay Thrum channel. My name is Matt as always and uh, we're actually going to be going over a real quick video uh, in lieu of a question that we got on YouTube and it's basically asking us to go over the export options with bitmap 2 material it's pretty easy pretty simple we have an image of a brick wall um, already lined up here nice little 2d view I already have my settings laid out how I want them uh, as you can see here we have a roughness map uh, we skipped over a metallic map so I'm gonna actually turn that off uh, we have our normal height map and an AO Basically, after you get everything done the way you want, it's actually quite simple. You go up here to export as bitmap. Uh, I have my textures laid out, well, where I want my textures to go. I'm going to do these as JPEGs. Open up my options. Now I'll leave it at 100 because I don't want very much compression at all. Uh, base name pattern, we'll get, we're basically going to leave that alone as well. You'll see uh, how it kicks it out uh, here in a second. We'll leave our tweak values and our metadata alone. And as we go through here, you can see it where it says all outputs. We're going to leave our base color on, our roughness on. We're going to turn metallic off, leave our diffuse on. Uh, we're going to turn off specular. Uh, we'll turn off glossiness for now, leave our normal on, leave our height on. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off our bump, curvature, displacement, opacity, emissive, and detail normal. So basically all you see in here is essentially what we have in our outputs already set up, up here in the upper left hand corner. And we'll go ahead and hit export. It goes through makes our materials now if I drag this over here uh, you can see where it actually puts out the different options uh, for here here um, here here so on and so forth now if you want we'll go back you can actually change some of this information up <clears throat> so you have your well G is graph name uh, you have percent O as output name package full package path output usage so on and so forth uh, you could also do say an underscore um, uh, old brick and actually I'll take that space out you don't have to take the space out but I like to anyway um, and the only thing I really have checked you, you could technically do all outputs but I only have the stuff checked that I'm actually outputting so in here if I go ahead and delete the ones that I just made I believe that is all of them pull this back over here go ahead and do an export as well as you'll see it actually says bitmap to material 3 underscore ambient occlusion underscore old brick you can actually modify that however you wish you know, to get your naming convention that you want. Uh, for this demonstration, I didn't really worry about it a whole lot, but it is what it is. Uh, that's basically all you really have to worry about with your output op or your export options or your uh, export outputs, however you wish to word it. And by all means, keep in mind that you can actually go through and turn, you know, as many different outputs on as you want. Uh, so like if I wanted diffuse on, if I wanted specular on, whenever you're turning those on, it'll give you options to modify uh, those settings on the right hand side. It'll also show up in the upper left hand side, the different options that you have as well. Um, you could thumb back and forth, uh, left and right arrows, get what you want, get what you need and all that other good jazz. Um, hopefully that answered your question. Uh, to the gentleman who asked that question if it didn't by all means you know, throw another question in there let us know uh, but that's about all I have for right now uh, if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to drop them in the comment box below do not forget to like share and subscribe and until next time I will see you guys later